Good morning. The Secretary General and the Prime Minister will make two short statements. Secretary General. Good morning, uh, Prime Minister. Uh, it is a great uh, pleasure to welcome you to NATO headquarters today and to discuss with you uh, our priorities. And let me take this opportunity to congratulate you uh, on your appointment as Prime Minister. I look very much forward to, to working with you. Um, in uh, NATO, every ally's uh, voice uh, counts, and every ally uh, makes uh, a difference. Um, Iceland makes a difference uh, within NATO by bringing your expertise and uh, your experience to our political uh, discussions. Um, and you make a difference um, uh, on our operations. Uh, you play a key role uh, in helping to uh, train and prepare bomb disposal experts, uh, saving lives uh, in uh, operations. And your civilian uh, experts have provided valuable uh, assistance uh, in Afghanistan in areas such as uh, health care uh, and disaster relief. And these areas uh, are uh, vital uh, for development. And development is vital uh, for security and uh, stability. Um, your engagement and uh, your commitment will be vital as we continue to address the challenges that we all face. Uh, we must finish the job we started uh, in Afghanistan, building up uh, Afghan uh, security forces which are capable uh, of uh, keeping their own country safe uh, once our combat mission is completed uh, at the end of uh, next year. As our Afghan mission winds uh, down, uh, we must all work together to make sure that NATO uh, stays ready to deal with any crisis and any threat. We must make sure our uh, forces have the right equipment and conduct the right exercises to do any task we, we set for them. And we must make sure that NATO has what it needs to remain the most effective uh, alliance in the world. Um, the ability to, to deal uh, with modern threats like cyber attacks and uh, proliferation. And the ability to work with partners from around the globe. In all these efforts, every single ally uh, is crucial. Every single ally has a role to play and I thank you for Iceland's contribution uh, to our collective work and for the commitment uh, that you have expressed uh, for NATO's success. So, Prime Minister, I look forward to working with you closely as we tackle these challenges together. Thank you very much, General Secretary. Uh, the feeling is mutual. I look forward to uh, working with you and NATO. Uh, we had a very good meeting this morning, where uh, I uh, emphasized Iceland's intention to uh, continue to work closely with NATO and uh, continue to develop our relationship with NATO. Uh, I uh, so found it it's fitting to, to mention that uh, the, we have been very happy with the uh, course NATO has taken under the leadership of the General Secretary, and we would like to see further developments in that regard. Uh, one thing we discussed is, is the importance of uh, cybersecurity, and uh, that is something that will continue to grow in importance in the coming years, and Iceland would certainly like to, to work with NATO on, on developing security in that area. We also discussed uh, the Arctic considerably, uh, and uh, the importance of, of building infrastructure and services uh, for example, uh, search and, and rescue possibilities in the Arctic once uh, shipping routes open up and, and the ut utilization of natural resources uh, in the area increases. So NATO is certainly undergoing changes, but its relevance is apparent to us, and we would uh, like to continue to, to work on, uh, on strengthening NATO and making it capable of, of tackling new challenges in a changing world. 